Mike Harrison, lead singer of Spooky Tooth, has died. He was 72. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. This was a band that once featured Gary Wright prominently as the other lead singer, Dreamweaver's Gary Wright, for quite a few years. Mick Jones of Foreigner was also in the band near the latter part of their first incarnation. There was also Greg Ridley of Humble Pie. Chris Stanton, who played with Joe Cocker and Eric Clapton. Henry McCullough, who also played with Cocker, Wings, and Roy Harper. John Hawkins of Straub's and Renaissance fame. Through the years, Spooky Tooth had an amazing array of great artists, and Harrison was a perfect example of the best of it. He was one of the founding members of this group, which sprouted out of another one called VIPs that also featured Ridley and Luther Grosvenor, who would later go on to play with a lot of different people, most notably Mott the Hoople. Mike Kelly was also in the fold. Keith Emerson was in that band until he left to form The Nice. The VIPs turned into art, which turned into Spooky Tooth. This group never really had a lot of commercial success, though I firmly remember their version of Janiseon's Society's Child. And it's too bad because overall their sound fit right into the late 60s, early 70s with a raw blues rock and roll feel. Gary Wright was their creative driving force writing most of their early material and he shared the vocals with Harrison. Probably their high point was Spooky 2, their sophomore album. If you want a real introduction into Spooky Tooth, that's the album to taste test to. Unfortunately, everything kind of went downhill with their next project, which was a collaboration with French electronic musician Pierre Henry. That album is sometimes called one of the biggest rock and roll screw-ups of all time. And even though Gary Wright wanted Henry in this project, the result caused Gary Wright to leave Spooky Tooth after it was finished. At times, the project kind of sounded like Spooky Tooth, but there was strange noises in between and in the songs that, for a lot of fans, made no sense. The band would go on to break up in 1970, then they reunited in 1972 with Gary Wright in tow. They bowed out in 1974 and had a reunion in 1997. Harrison recorded a handful of solo albums and eventually left the music business until Spooky Tooth reunited in 97, this time without Gary Wright. He actually made a living for quite a few years driving trucks, and later in his life he played with the Hamburg Blues Band, where they recorded their own album. There was another Spooky Tooth reunion in 2004, this time with Gary Wright, and that resulted in a concert DVD called Nomad Poets. They also played together in 2008. Mike Harrison died on March 25th, 2018 at the age of 72. I only discovered Spooky Tooth after Foreigner released their first album because of Mick Jones, even though he was not in the band for a long time. And by then I was a huge Gary Wright fan because of Dreamweaver and Love is Alive. But they were a bridge to me being introduced to who Mike Harrison was. May he rest in peace. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, share our videos and comment on them as well. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.